Hi guys, it's Miss Ellie. I'm going to read us a book called Our Class is Going Green. It was written and illustrated by kindergarten students at the Oak Park Elementary School in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. So here they have some interesting facts. It says, did you know paper products make up almost half of all of our trash? Wow. Each ton of recycled paper can save 17 trees and 7,000 gallons of water. That's a lot of water. People in the United States use more than 65 million tons of paper every year. That's a lot of paper. Also, one tree can filter about 60 pounds of pollutants from the air in a year. So we know that they give us air and oxygen, they also clean the air. That's another thing that makes trees so important. Every day, businesses in the United States use enough paper to go around the earth 20 times. Now that seems a little ridiculous. We really need to spread this message. So let's see what they say. Our class is going green. It says it's dedicated to all the green individuals who realize the importance of taking care of the environment. That's you. Our story was created during our theme about the environment and we were learning how we should take care of our resources and our earth. We all became excited about how we can make a difference in our own school. After much discussion and learning, we decided to put our ideas in a book. Then during art class, we illustrated our book. Our book was created by using materials from the recycling bin, which included watercolor paintings, newspapers, and various paper scraps. And these are the authors. They're probably not in kindergarten anymore, but it's pretty cool, right? So our class is going green. Oh no. No, not the color green. Our class is learning how to be kind to the earth. I like how they use the recycled paper there. To make our environment a better place, here are some ways we are going green. Reduce, reuse, recycle. We've all heard those three R's before. So they say walk to school instead of riding in cars. You can also carpool as another way to save on energy and reduce pollution. And wear our clothes in layers instead of turning the thermostat up to keep warm, which that one doesn't totally apply to us here in Florida, but we can turn down the air when we leave our house and make it warmer because it doesn't need to be as cold when we're not home. That also helps conserve energy. Take one napkin at lunch instead of a handful of napkins. This saves paper as napkins are from paper, but an even better way is to use a reusable napkin, like a piece of cloth. We keep our classroom doors closed instead of letting the cold air in, or in our case, letting the cold air out or the hot air in. We reuse old paper for class lessons and projects. That's in the art bin at school, instead of using new paper. It's a good habit to get into, it saves trees. Turn the water off after we wash our hands, instead of leaving the water running while we dry our hands. We learned about conserving water, making sure we turn off the faucet when we brush our teeth too. Help keep our playground clean instead of littering on the ground. You guys are great at that. Everybody's always picking up litter on the playground. Recycle our trash instead of throwing it away. Remember, paper, plastic, and aluminum can be recycled. But it can't be plastic baggies, Ziplocs cannot be recycled, grocery bags cannot be recycled, and straws. So we try to use less of those. Use reusable bags instead. And remember, you have to rinse out any containers, otherwise it can't go in the recycling bin. 
Our class has learned how to make the world a better place. And now we are teaching everyone in our school to be green. I really like how they turned everybody back to green. Pretty creative. So here they say, think of ways you can take care of our environment and go green. Well, they printed this on recycled paper. That's one way. And then it tells us how recycled paper is made. It says, first waste paper is collected and brought to a paper recycling plant. The paper is mixed with water in a huge machine that pulls the inks off the paper. Then the clean paper pulp mixture is put through screens that catch things like paper clips and staples. Usually the clean pulp gets mixed with some new wood pulp so the paper will be stronger. Finally, the clean pulp is pressed into big sheets, dried, and put into paper rolls. Pretty cool. Here's some more fun did you know facts. More than 900 million trees are cut down each year to provide material for paper mills. That's a lot of trees. Recycling saves energy, air, water, and landfill space. It can also save money and provide jobs for people. More than a third of the fiber that's used to make paper comes from recycled paper. Right now, only about 1% of the water in the world is usable. 97% of it is salt water and 2% is frozen. We need to make sure we conserve or limit our water use. Americans throw away about 25 billion styrofoam cups a year. That's why we try to use reusable containers at Learning Gate. Well, I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope that you got some ideas for what to write about when you write for your science prompt, which is how to keep our planet clean. That's all for now.